Well, I'm back here with uh, Luthier Colin Keefe to talk about the, the continuing story of Neil's new guitar, or semi-new guitar, which is um, built on an old guitar. If you want to know more about that, have a look at video number one. It's going to be built around an old file with a, a damaged top, so Colin has been busy while I've been away. We've had Christmas and I've had the flu, so it's been a while since we've been here, but here we are back again, and you've... Uh, started to put together a new top. Yes, this is the new top. Uh, so this is uh, the two book matched halves have been joined together. Uh, this is a piece of Lutz spruce. So, and then it's been thicknessed. And then I've uh, drawn out the bracing pattern. I've worked out where the scale length is going to end and where the sound hole was and just put some basic reinforcement in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then plan the rest of the bracing pattern out from there. Yeah, so there's a bra bracing pattern. Is it a case of, it's going to be a left-handed one for Neil, of course, is it just yeah. a case of flipping the bracing pattern over in the mirror image? Mostly, but of course these two braces, uh, what some of us call the voicing braces, uh, they have to come from the other side. So normally on a right-handed guitar they come from this side. Mm. Being left-handed they come from this side. Yeah. The idea is that it leaves the bass a little more open. Yes, yes. Um, so. And I remember you once telling me that you're one of your favourite jobs in guitar making is actually laying out bracing. It is, yeah. I, I love so, designing bracing patterns. It's yeah, so it's, so crucial to the sound of the thing, of course. Of course, yeah. That's mm. uh, you, You're looking for, the, you know, you, you want everything from it that you can, really. You want all the sustain, but you want that sort of lovely, open, ringy sound. You want the overtones, you know. It's the, the fundamental note. It's all got to be there. So yeah, it's yeah. Trying to keep that in mind when you're designing something. This is mainly just a, a standard Martin X brace, but yeah. of course I'll have moved certain braces around slightly to, yeah. to gain what I want from it. And uh, apart from that, we're going to have a bit of drama today, aren't we? We are. We, we, are we, have, we have the thing on the, be on the bench there. I'm taking the fingerboard off, which is uh, a fairly regular job for us, uh, as we do a lot of restoration work as well. Um, so we use an old clothes iron just to heat it up. Whenever you're taking glue joints apart, You've either got to use heat or moisture, or yep. both. Uh, so this is one of my favourite methods: is just to use an old clothes iron and some spatula knives. So. And will you be using any moisture on this, or just going to be the, not. just I the tend, iron? I tend not to use the moisture if I can get away with it. So this has been heating up for a little while, and one of the things I will say when we're doing something like this is not to be afraid to to let the heat stay on for a while. Uh, heating the knife up as well as the as well as the fingerboard. There we go. So having got that nice and hot, if you usually can find a place where the knife will just slip in then. Just moving that around, bringing that up. There we go, I can move the, the knife around quite nicely now. And this was made in 1976. In 1976, so... Roger Bucknell of yeah, Filed Guitars. So Roger tells us, yeah. yes. And he said, what, what model did he say it was he called? He said he thought it was an Olivia yeah. in 1976. I assumed it was an, Ober, an early Oberon until he said that. I would have assumed the same, but uh, I'm not an expert on early filed models, so uh, mm. there we go. So we've just freed the uh, lip of the fingerboard off there, off the front, and now we've got to move it down, so we'll yeah. let that heat up again. That's good. That's getting us up to the, uh, the ninth, eighth fret there, so... We're on the home straight. Yes. And if you look from here, you can see that actually it's coming off nice and cleanly there. Oh yeah. So very little if any damage to the wood. That's right. Wood. You can see the dovetail start to emerge there. Yeah. Yeah, which is all good. It's all very domestic, isn't it? Clo yeah. Clothes irons and bread knives. <laughs> It's a consistent method. <laughs> this looks like it's been slightly more awkward than the first part. It is, yeah. It's just uh, a little harder. The glue's just mm. a little bit stickier. So we can see now we're down to about the third fret. Yeah. Is that going to need another application of heat for I the end of it? Do. Yes. Right. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Right, so you're giving that a few minutes to heat up again. Yeah. Last stretch now. Last stretch. 
So this is where you have to be a little more, bit more careful when you're taking it off the end, uh, just so that you don't slip right the way through and into your hand. Yes, basically. yes. I have been concerned about that all the way along, actually. <laughs> Watching you point those blades and push them towards your hand. That's right, yes. Yeah. I have a high regard for my hand these days, so I try to keep it as well as I can. So here we go, and this is the last bit. Oops. Yes. Mind the fingers. <laughs> there we go. There it goes. Pops off. Pops off. So what can we see in there? Well, you can see the uh, the non-adjustable truss rod in there. Yeah. Uh, so if we take that out and put a box section uh, adjustable truss rod in, then... Uh, and that's just another way of doing it, it's just your preference, isn't it? Uh, it's, uh, I always think if you have an adjustable truss rod, if the yeah. neck moves, you've got a chance of um, sorting it out. So. Although in my experience, I have a file, these don't move. <laughs> yeah. so, Most, we... Mostly they don't. Yeah. And there's the dovetail. Well, there we are then. The real work has now started. <laughs> so there we are with the fingerboard off, reinforcing rod in the neck exposed, and over there the new top in progress. Right, well thank you Colin, we'll, uh, thank you. we'll uh, keep in touch with the rest of the process, yep. and uh, see you soon, cheers. Bye. If you'd like to keep up with this story, Subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon and we'll keep you notified as new videos are posted. If you'd like to know more about Colin Keefe, there are links in the description below and in our playlist. See you next time!